Hi 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 there, I'm your German snob and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Black Mesa. And I do believe that I owe you an apology. Because I didn't upload a video the previous two days. That's because for some reason or another fraps stopped working. And yeah, had to fix that. So the thing you need to know I guess is that whenever I don't upload a video for a day or, you know, longer, it's not because I don't want to, it's because I quite literally can't. So I hope you can forgive me. So be it how it may be, we were here. And we had that giant guy to fight. Now, I believe you remember how hard the first guy of that kind was, like, you know, the... Um... Like the... the what did I want to say? Yeah. The guy we had to electrocute. Now compared to that guy, this one here is actually kind of a pushover if he may stop bothering us, which he, I'm pretty sure, will do pretty soon. We can order an airstrike on him. A little bit something like... Well, not exactly like that. More like that. Yeah. And that's all there is to him. We can just kind of bump him from... <laughs> and look, look, look how far some of his body parts fly. And bounce off the trampoline thing. Okay, I gotta admit, I kind of find it pretty funny. Well, however, now that we have blown him up, there is one other thing we can blow up here. And... That would be that one. You know, viewers, I had to play this part three times now. And I have to admit, I got exceedingly efficient at it. So yeah, here stuff is going to explode. The thing is going to fall over. Tear down that wall. And we can use it to get over there. Pretty much the easiest thing ever. Yeah, the part coming up is in fact not really hard, like, at all. So, that shouldn't give us too much problem. You know, thing is, I had to play a rather big part of the game all over again because I had to use a, uh, well, fairly old save state. And hey, you wanna know what I found out about it? This game is actually not that difficult. I mean, I know it's like, <laughs> whoa man, GS, are you implying we were just playing badly? And yes, yes, that is exactly what I was implying there. Because it's totally true, I was for the most part playing like a complete baby. And, I don't know, maybe I owe you an apology for that too. Well, again, I don't know, I mean... Playing badly is one of the, fir of the first things, no, the worst things you can do as a Let's Player. Because... If you're not good at what you're doing and what you're playing, you're basically just wasting your viewer's time and... Well, I suppose making him frustrated. But, you know, it's... Oh, hi there. Oh, you don't say. You don't say. Why, yes, I did. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, did ever someone tell you that you look kind of like the president? I mean, just, well, maybe not quite, but kinda. Uh, <laughs> but that's completely beside the point. So, at this place, hey guy, you stay back here. Yeah, please. You stay back here, because here is a useful little trick we can use. So, so pretty soon there are enemies gonna appear here. Yep. Now, we could deal with them ourselves and waste our ammunition on them, but we could also turn on that switch and then... Let that turret take care of them for us. Which... 
is not actually that useful because... Oh, wait. And yes, yes to use homing weapons. <laughs> you look at that. But usually they get shot down by these turret things. So yes, here at this point we can actually use them for our own, as, at least as long as they work. Which is not that long, because they do get destroyed fairly quickly. But that doesn't matter, like, at all. We can still pretty much just kill these guys with not too much effort. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we just let our security guard friend stay back here. Because really, he's not all that helpful. And for the most part, he's just getting himself killed, so I think he is safer back here. But first, let's see if there's anything in these crates. I am not sure if it's preset what's in them, or if they're... Oh, well, look at that. Or if it's randomized. But I do believe that it's a... Well, that's pre-programmed what you can find in crates. Like in this one, just a whole bunch of garbage and a CD. Hey, can we read what's on it? Tarbo Super XL CDR. Okay, that's not all that interesting. What does it say on that thing? Holds anti-freeze and... Okay, no. So nothing really, like, funny or interesting written on here. Oh right, so these things. You may probably expect it, but these things explode and a whole lot of these little insect guys are going to appear. I'm gonna show you. Yep. Yep. Not very dangerous, but if they do manage to trap you, they can actually quite do a lot of damage. Also, we want to blow up that stuff there, if we can. Which we can't, because... well, we can blow them up, but it doesn't really help us now, does it? We really have run out of ammunition for the revolver. Well, that's certainly one way to go about this whole thing. It was not exactly what I intended, but as long as it works, I'm not gonna complain. Hey there, we got the lag. That's pretty fun. And, of course, another one of these. They are not much more than just a useless waste of ammunition. But I would almost say so are most enemies in this game. So we don't have much of a reason to complain here. Die. You too. You are almost killing us here. Yeah. These guys, they are a problem. We have to be a bit more careful around them. And by careful, I mean just wasting an arrow for absolutely no use at all. Okay, not, let's not do it like that. Let's do it more like that. And of course there has to be a head crab. Did we survive? Yeah, we did. Really? We are all out of ammunition for that thing? I mean, yeah, ammunition for that particular thing is not actually that scarce, but... I don't know, it always feels rather... Well, I suppose rather... 
Well, it is rather worrying to not be able to use a certain kind of ammunition or more like to use a certain weapon. For you never know when you will need them. Though I am pretty sure that somewhere in here there is... What's that thing? Oh, it's like ammunition for the laser. Another weapon we almost never use at all. <laughs> Which does have a reason. The laser is a very, very occasional weapon. You hardly ever really have any use for it. What's that? Arrows. But we have full uh, arrows, so don't need them. Yeah. Alrighty, let's get up here. Up here are those mine things that throw beetles at us. But we can pick them up and they are not going to hurt us. So that was not a problem, will you look at that? And here's a ammo pickup for exactly the weapon we run out of ammunition of and I don't know if we can get down here without hurting ourselves. I never managed to do it and I played this part thrice now. And okay, maybe, maybe there is a way and I'm just not seeing it, which would hardly be the first time something like this happened to me. But really I couldn't find it. Yeah, that thing is already empty. Don't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, completely forget about these guys. These guys, they are vorticons. I think you should be able to see that for yourself. Oh, there's another one. Oh, go away. Time to reload. Did I ever try that door? Well, now it didn't. Just open. Any more of them here? Nope. But there is a crate and... There may be something in there, but there may also not be. So, looks like we... I, I'm not sure if there's anything in the water here. Except maybe enemies, which wouldn't surprise me all that much. But I do know that we have to go down here. Yep. And down here, if I remember correctly... What? Down here there is not only that dead soldier... There is also, and that's in fact kind of a intimidating thing on its own... A turret and a bunch of head grabs, but they're just head grabs. They haven't been dangerous since, like, the first few videos of this Let's Play. Die. You too. No, really, you too. How could I miss you? God. And so much for them. Anything in here? Oh, yes, a health, a health pack. In here? Nope. That should be all there is. Now, there is another enemy we haven't seen for quite some time, I believe, a barnacle. Well, not like I missed them or anything. It's still interesting to see him again. And there's another one. And he actually drops a suit power-up. So he's actually quite useful. Yeah, I can't go through here. Hey, you tried to champ me. Well, good thing you didn't succeed. Hey, you will try to champ me too. Well, good thing you didn't succeed either. And because I already played this part of the game, I know that in there there is one of these fish enemies which I just missed because I'm kind of an idiot. And they do a lot of damage, don't they? <laughs> a ichtiskasaur, or how they're called. You know, it's the choke, but not really the choke. There is not really a choke in there at all. The point of that name is that ichtisk is like Latin or something and means fish. 
and Sora implies that it's a dinosaur, so you know it's a fish dinosaur thing, which is in fact a pretty apt de description of them. So I would be the last one to argue with that name. Anything down here? Nope, not a whole lot. So it's not the direction we want to go into. Because it's that one. And here is also that thing we have to duck here to get through. And these things would burn us if we get too close to them. So obviously we don't want to get too close to them, but rather get in here. And why do I keep forgetting about that guy? It happens to me every time I play that part. I just can't seem to remember that there is a zombie in here. But okay, never mind. He didn't do anything that bad to us. There are also these crates. Which have a health pack and a suit power up station. So, nevertheless, coming in here is actually worth it. Also, and I just found this now, here's like the front of one of the suit power up stations. I thought that was pretty cool. Yep. Hey, look at that, more barnacles. It's always fun to beat those with a crowbar. Or if we can't beat them with a crowbar, we just shoot them. Because you know, you know what they say, if you can't beat them, shoot them. That's, as you all know, a very important philosophy or like, okay, th that place here, it, it's, it's kind of annoying. Not very annoying, but it did kill me like one or two times, so I think I am justified in calling it kind of annoying. Also, will you look at that? You can't see them, but in there there are two soldiers. So it's in our interest to throw a grenade in there. Which may have actually worked if we weren't complete idiots. But we just happen to be complete idiots. So we couldn't get out our weapons before they managed to kill us. Great. No, really great. Oh, come on. Now we have to reload. And I suppose maybe I should reload more often, but... You know, it's one of these things you keep forgetting about until it's too late. Also, hey, would you guess what else is there? Yeah, I suppose you would guess what else is in here because you see those laser traps. Well, thing is, there is also a... Wait, 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 can't see... Yep, there it is. There is also a turret in here. So this gives us an opportunity to use another grenade. And so much about that thing. These guys are dead. We are alive. So all in all, I think we were pretty successful. <laughs> so that being said, I think this would not be the worst part to stop recording for this part. Oh hey, I never disc I never discovered that place. <laughs> okay, this makes me in fact pretty happy. I didn't know there was like suit power up stuff up here. But yeah, that being said, I think we can stop recording for this episode. Maybe I'm going to record another one today if I find time for it. Just you know to make up for not uploading a video the last two days. But for now, I'm going to say I am your German snob, and this is Let's Play Black Mesa. And I'm going to see you, well, the next time. So until then, goodbye.